this week, an extraordinary American gave a historic speech. It started a discussion in this country that is long overdue. He addressed the issue of race with the eloquence and sincerity and optimism that we have come to expect of him. By reminding us of the awesome potential reciting in our own responsibility, Senator Obama showed us once again what kind of leader he is. What we need in the United States is not division. What we need in the United States is not hatred. What we need in the United States is not violence and lawlessness, but is love and wisdom and compassion toward one another feeling of justice toward those who still suffer within our country, whether they be white or whether they be black. This time, this time, we can do better. This time, we can make a change. Oh, Let's get support the candidate who inspires me, who inspires all of us, who can lift our vision and summon our hopes and renew our belief that our country's best days are still to come. I have a dream. My poor little children one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. This time, we can do it better. This time, we can make a change. Oh, yes, we can. We can rise. Ooh. For above all stormy weather, this time. This time. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, Barack Obama. This is where we are right now. It's a racial stalemate we've been stuck in for years. Contrary to the claims of some of my critics, black and white, I have never been so naive as to believe that we can get beyond our racial divisions in a single election cycle. But I have asserted a firm conviction that working together, we can move beyond some of our old racial wounds. And that in fact, we have no choice choice if we are to continue on the path of a more perfect future.